A former NFL quarterback in the Mississippi State Auditor exchanged words on social media today. Uh, this all comes days after Brett Favre finished uh, paying the state back $1.1 million in welfare money for a speaking engagement that he never showed up to. That's what the, uh, the 12 News' Leah uh, Williams now is, explains how why the state auditor says that Favre still owes tens of thousands of dollars. Leah? Byron, during an investigation into one of the largest embezzlements in Mississippi, the state auditor found that Brett Favre owed the state more than a million dollars. Well, Favre paid the money back, but White says he still has to pay $282,000 in interest. In a Facebook post this morning, Favre fired at White, saying he would never knowingly take funds meant for Mississippians in need and that White is continuing to push out a lie about the money. Favre also says he was denied a call back or meeting with the state auditor. White fired back at Favre, saying his office met in person with him and showed him the contract. Our agent slid the contract across the table that described the things that Mr. Farr was supposed to do in order to be paid $1.1 million worth of welfare money. And the contract is very simple. It says that he's supposed to give three speeches. He was supposed to cut a radio ad. He was supposed to give a keynote address. And so we asked him in this meeting, did you do these things? Did you give these speeches? And his answer was no. His attorney says, is this a real contract? So we slide across an email that's from a CPA at Farve Enterprises. And that email says in writing that this is the contract that justified the $1.1 million of payment. White says Favre did cut the radio ad, but all components of the contract were supposed to be met in order for him to get paid. If the interest is not paid within the next two weeks, it could be turned over to the Attorney General's office. The Attorney General would then decide if she wants to file a civil lawsuit. I reached out to Brett Favre's agent for comment, but have not heard back. Byron, back to you.